Ensure your blackout blinds remain drawn. No lights on the street means no targets for potential attack. Those homes and businesses without... She said she was bringing a friend. She never used the word date. Well, he's a doctor. Who cares what God he prays to? What God does he pray to? Well, the black hats are in case the Jerry's are flagging for a bomb attack. Well, how did the devils get this far? Probably jumped a freight. Industrious bastards saying they found a couple of prison uniforms in a barn outside of Markham. It's a fiendish exploit, I tell you. Well, must have stolen some civilian rags. So they're hiding in plain sight. How? They don't speak English. Oh, we had some German prisoners back during the Great War who spoke some. Well, you were there, Gene. Did the Germans speak English? Gene? Hmm? Mr. Aikens asked you a question. I never met one. I treated wounded prisoners of war a few months back. They had a command of English. Ned volunteers his medical skills to the war effort whenever he can. I tell them about the U-boat captain you treated, the one taken in the Atlantic. This man was the one who had given the orders that sunk ten allied vessels, but Ned treated him all the same. Helping them is an act of mercy, a reminder that That's somehow... That's the difference we... between you and I, Doc. You save the crowds. I shoot them. Sorry. Seemed funny for some reason. Gene, I want you to apologize to Dr. Oh, Patel. I, I took no offense. Doctors swear not to treat all wounded, regardless of politics. And I'm the one fighting for your freedom to practice that oath. Well, who's up for another drink? Oh, count me in. Let's just eat already. We're waiting for the rest of the party. Uh, this is the party. Driving's nixed and a blackout and streetcars are down. Bob, why don't you and Sheila take a quick look outside for the others? <laughs> I'll do it. Gene, our guests are here to see you. Oh, so are the ones stumbling around in the dark. Plus, there's Nazis on the prowl. At least out there I can be of use. Well, I say let the soldier do his duty. If he comes up dry, we eat. All right. Not like you're thinking. <laughs> 